Hello comrades, Man Cave Roman here. How to add a USB-C port to DualShock the PlayStation 4 controller. This is how. As you see, it works. And to prove it works, you can see it. when I connect it, it turns on. The only sacrifice I've made was that this light no longer works. And the reason for that because I was using uh, an adapter like this. Uh, links, link in the description, guys. Uh, this is USB-C to micro USB adapter, right? And uh, kind of I, the way I actually put it, I carved the hole here to in order to fit uh, this uh, casing there, and um, I had to unscrew. There is like a uh some screw i had to unscrew and i put it in inside so but unfortunately the the actual um light is also attached to this port so it had to go in in inwards so that's why i had to sacrifice the light but i'm not using it and i can see if it's on by just because i'm using this back uh, button for PlayStation 4 controller, I can see that it charges and it's fine. So there is one little sacrifice I've made, but you don't have to do it. If you want to just use a USB-C port, you can use this adapter. The only problem is that it's not very stable over here. Like, right, it's just, uh, so the way you can uh, attach it, so and it will be stable you can use uh, a little bit of a black tape take a little piece of it from here maybe cut it a little bit here like this little piece of a black tape and you can put it straight into this con connector, like like I show you so, under the connection, right? So like this, and then put an adapter there. It will you will need to use a little bit of force there, but it will fit, right? And now it's now it's much more stable. And you can put a cable into this, no problem at all, like this. And remove it. And it's pretty stable here. But the f you can put a glue over here as well, so for permanent, more permanent solution. But uh, I prefer my first design where it's completely in. So it's not really interfering with me playing in any way. Uh, thanks for watching guys, see you again.